Good evening. I'm Pastor Russ from Zion Stone Church, New Ringle, Pennsylvania, and this is our Wednesday, February 24th Lenten meditation. Um, we'll be offering these meditations each Wednesday during the season of Lent. Lent began one week ago when we virtually gathered for our Ash Wednesday service. Now Lent is a time of spiritual preparation for the celebration of Christianity's highest holy day, which is Easter. Lent is also a time for us to assess our spiritual health and to discover the ways that the snares and traps of this world can burden us, can drag us down, and can distract us from our higher callings as beloved children of Almighty God. The theme for these Wednesday meditations is Faith in the Midst of Pandemic. The title of today's med meditation is Do Not Be Afraid. And the scripture reference is Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39. Let me open with a prayer. This is from an Anglican church mission agency. It's called the Mother's Union. Let's pray. Loving Lord, we pray your love and compassion to abound as we walk through this challenging season. We ask for wisdom for those who bear the load of making decisions with widespread consequences. We pray for those who are suffering with sickness and for all who are caring for them. We ask for protection for the elderly and vulnerable not to succumb to the risks of this virus. We pray that fear may take no hold in hearts and minds as we exercise the good sense that you in your mercy provide. May we also approach each day in faith and peace trusting in the truth of your goodness toward us. Amen. What is the most common teaching, the most common command in the Bible? Well, folks will come up with various suggestions of what they think the Lord most wants us to do. God's most common command is this, do not be afraid. God so often tells us not to fear because in life there is so much to be afraid of. Every day we live surrounded by conflict and violence, hunger and disease, injustice and oppression. Yet in the midst of all of this, God says, tells us, do not be afraid. Well, how can that be? Well, it's because we know that our ultimate security is with God who loves us and values us so much that according to the prophet Isaiah, each of our names are engraved on the palms of God's hands. God tells us not to be afraid because nothing can ever part us from God and God's love. Now in the first century, the Apostle Paul wrote to the early church in Rome, which was a very fragile, vulnerable community, and the threats there were of persecution and hardship. And this is what Paul wrote, beginning with Romans 8, chapter 8, verse 38 to 39. Paul wrote this, For I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
Fear is created by many factors. Some of the most powerful factors are the things we, we don't understand and we can't control. And these offer us most many times the greatest threat. COVID-19 is one threat we have and we are attempting to deal with, but information and misinformation of this virus abound. We can't see it. We try to contain it. We really can't control it. We find it hard to cope with our fears and this can lead us either to deny what's happening or to blame those we think are responsible for the threats we face. When we reflect on all of this, it's really not hard to understand why so much fear surrounds this pandemic. But our task is to learn the facts, to challenge the misinformation, and to encourage each other, as God tells us, not to be afraid. So you see, everything that the world can throw at us will come to an end because it is all part of this creation. Only the, the divine, the eternal love will stand forever. But this love doesn't stand alone. In Christ, God has opened wide this divine embrace and makes us more than conquerors. In and through Christ, we are made beloved of God forever. Let us pray. Keep us loving God in your merciful love and protection. Calm our fears in this time of great distress and help us to heed your call not to be afraid that we may truly know your presence and your promise that nothing can separate us from your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of Christ go with you all.